Hey everybody, this video is going to talk about finding the x and y intercepts given a polynomial function. So just like when we find the x and or y intercepts of all the other types of functions, what we're going to do is let's first find the y intercept. So when we find the y intercept, what do we do? Well, we let x equal 0. So y is going to equal 0 cubed plus 8 times 0 squared plus 15 times 0. So we end up getting 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is 0. So when x is 0, y is 0, so we have an x-intercept at 0, 0, or y-intercept at 0, 0. For the x-intercept, what am I going to do? Well, let's let y equal 0. So I end up getting 0 equals x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15x. Now, from here, we can't really solve this unless we factor. So I can see that I can factor out a fifth, an x as my greatest common factor. And I'm left with x squared plus 8x plus 15. Now I still can't really solve this yet. Um, because these are being multiplied, I could say, well, this is one factor and this is another factor. So I could say x equals 0. But let's factor it completely before we do that. So 0 equals x times... 15 is 5 times 3, and then 5 and 3 add up to be 8. So this factors into x plus 3 times x plus 5. So I'm factored complete. The, the x plus 3 is fine, prime, the x plus 5 is prime. So I set each of my factors equal to 0. Because if either, any of them are 0, then we have a true statement. So after solving, we'll get x equals 0, negative 3, and negative 5. So my x-intercepts are at the point 0, 0, which makes sense because I had a y-intercept of 0, 0. Negative 3, 0, and then negative 5, 0. So there's one example of finding x and y intercepts.